We've got to start from the needs of our children. When we look at some of our most vulnerable children and the levels of their progress, achievement and opportunities, in the UK we have some disastrous outcomes for some of those children from some of our most deprived backgrounds. Unless we work together as one workforce, unless we come together in an integrated way, we are never going to change the pattern of outcomes we've seen for those children. Induction is the first step for getting anybody, both when they start on their career in the children's workforce, but also whenever they come into a new role, to understand the nature of their own role, where it fits into the wider workforce for children, and how by understanding some common values, some common ways of working, they can actually ensure that all those barriers that at times in the past have gotten in the way can be removed. Because we do work for different things at different times, but actually we all work for one thing. That's the needs of the child and the greatest opportunities we can give them. The most important thing about a common induction is it can make life better for children and young people and the families that we're here to serve. If it improves our understanding in the workforce of how to work together, it'll improve the lives of children and young people. It's crucial for us to go further in integrating all of us who are working in the children's workforce. And that means for any one of us, understanding the role that others play, understanding their contribution, and becoming better ourselves at working with them. And a classic example of that is uh, the learning development and support services, where you've got three really distinct roles learning mentors, education welfare officers, connections personal advisors, all three with a really important specialised role working with children and young people and their families, but also people who are working in a similar way, all focusing in on some of the most vulnerable children and young people, but needing to be able to work together themselves, understanding the role of their colleagues and therefore understanding their own role. So many roles are changing out there now in the children's workforce. So it's not just new members of staff, brand new people. It's almost everybody in the system who can benefit from induction into the children's workforce and where it's going. And in particular, of course, if you have good induction, it helps your later professional development in your particular role. There's a lot of induction training now going on but inevitably it varies around the country. You're talking about hundreds of different local employers and organisations and an awful lot of people in the children's workforce. So by giving a common set of principles and values to that process of induction training, the detail and the content may vary, but the broad direction and what's being achieved here is in the same direction. That type of concrete support, that type of training, can really help people in the LDSS family to do their job. Common approach to induction then actually means that while each organisation, TDA, NCSL and indeed many of the other individual professional groups will have professional specific induction, what we have by the common induction is certain things that everyone's done. A way in which we've again covered those common values that the Children's Workforce Network have put together over the last couple of years, led as well by looking at having certain aspects covered for everybody, a flexibility of working, a commitment from senior management, and constantly a sense that this is about the children, young people, and their families being supported, not about holding on to a professional perspective and a single point of view. A holistic view of child development is incredible increasingly seen as valuable. We can only achieve that if we pull together. So integrated working strongly implies a need for common induction, so we all have the same sense of one children's workforce. The CWDC's own induction training program is a good example of how that can be provided. In terms of getting one message, and it's no surprise having listened to everything I've said until now, it's got to be very much about, and this was one of the principles that came through in the children's plan, let's start from the children and let's not get caught up in our professional boundaries. We're all in this for the same thing and we all have shared common values and interests.